Well, hello. Uh, welcome to our new product introduction here for Balif. We are now introducing um, three products. First off is uh, two cameras. One is a USB 3, which we can see right here. And the other one is a Gig E, which we see right here. It just so happens we have a Gig E wired up and a USB 3 wired up with the lens. Um, these cameras come in various resolutions from 1.6, 3.2, 5.1, and 12.4, all with a global shutter, grayscale or color. The Gigi cameras have four inputs and four outputs that are programmable on the camera. In addition to that, they're also capable of doing PoE, power over ethernet. You just lose the capability of controlling the I.O. With that, if you notice, there is no RJ45 connection back of the camera. It's an industrialized ethernet M12. Uh, to date, right now, we're the only manufacturer that I'm aware of that has this feature. So the camera is not designed to be put into a traffic control uh, application. This is designed for factory automation to be used in a, a harsh environment like a automotive plant or, or a packaging food and beverage facility. So it does not have the RJ45. It has a industrialized Ethernet M12 Gig E connection. On the USB 3, which we see right here, um, that has two inputs four outputs, but is available in the same resolution size, 1.6, 3.2, 5.1, and 12.4, both grayscale and color with a global shutter. With the gigabit ethernet, as you can see by looking at the camera, it's a little bit smaller, so you can get into tighter applications with it. Secondly, it's also faster. It has five gigabit of bandwidth where the gigi camera only has one, so it's less speed. The advantage of the Gigi is you get longer cable runs, up to five, uh, actually over about 100 meters. With the USB 3, that's where you have a five meter limitation on the camera. So moving away from the cameras over here to the controller, you see we have four Gigi connections. The controller can support four Gigi cameras or four USB 3. So we have one USB 3 plugged in, which is this camera right here. You can also mix and match. You can put two USB 3, two Gig E in any combination of, but just a maximum of four. This is the connection right here to the controller. The controller is a Linux-based controller. All software that you need is on the controller. So all you do is log on with an HTML5 compliant browser, and you can then set up the uh, camera. Excuse me, set up the cameras if you're running more than one um, on the controller with the BVS cockpit software that's resident on the controller. Uh, the controller is a Linux-based uh, PC, i7 4-core processor, very fast, 16 gig of RAM and 256 gig hard drive. This is a very powerful unit, and again, just in repeating, it can support up to four cameras. It also comes standard in one part number with both Profinet and Ethernet IP, UDP and TCP. So with the cameras, you have various discrete I.O., you have the Ethernet connectivity, back to a PLC network with a controller. In fact, you see those ports right here. Those are the ports that get connected back to the PLC network. And these two here are the ones you would program uh, for the cameras. The controller also supports with the software image archiving with a date and timestamp and various other features we have for reporting, um, which we'll be going into at a later date with the software. But this is just a run through of the controller and the Gigi and USB 3.0. Uh, camera platforms. Also one thing to mention back to the cameras is all of our cameras are GenyCam compatible so they can be used with non balif software uh, from other manufacturers. Uh, GenyCam is an industry known standard for all uh, Gigi or USB 3 cameras. USB 3 cameras also uh, support USB 2 so they're, they actually go 2 and 3. Thank you.